Okay, so a while back I made a video talking about the crossover universe that is Rise of the Brave Tangled Dragons, and yeah, my dive into that world was disturbing at times, especially when I started reading more and more about the various different head cannons and ships that people have. Some of them were just, wow, yeah, wow. It was insane, we're talking fan fictions and fan art, both wholesome and adult oriented. Which, you know, was pretty weird, but anyway, this in turn got me thinking about a bunch of other franchises that were part of this shared fandom, which in turn led me down the Disney rabbit hole, and suddenly, oh my god, suddenly everything got so much worse. It's just truly despicable, some of the stuff you're going to find. And I'm not talking niche stuff. I'm talking legitimately popular trends and ships with a whole heap of content, and since I've suffered through it, you too will suffer through it. And yeah, there's some really nasty stuff here. And you'll pretty soon cotton onto the very specific trend that I'm talking about here. The one that's got me really skeeved out today. First on my agenda is Frozen. And apparently Frozen is the fifth franchise spinning off from Rise of the Tangled Dragons. You know, the thing we mentioned earlier. They just chuck Frozen somewhere into the title. And one of the big things that came out of this team up was the slightly awkward and yucky ship, Jelsa which pairs adult Elsa with teenage minor Jack Frost. And honestly, I thought that's where the weirdness would end. Ah, oh, but I was a sweet summer child. And I had no idea how truly terrible fandoms could be. Because what did I uncover? Why? The hidden world of Anna and Elsa. And you might be thinking, so what? Anna and Elsa, they're the two major characters of Frozen. Surely people are making wholesome fan art and stories and all of that. You know, just par the course, right? Well, I guess I'd normally agree with you there. I'd understand why people would be drawn in by their deep and meaningful sisterly bond. It's very cute. It's the heart of the franchise after all. But it's too bad. <laughs> this is more romantic slash sexual in nature. That's right, my friends. Sadly, I have uncovered that one of the most popular Frozen ships of all is the incestuous pairing of Anna and Elsa. And yes, you heard me right. Frozen sisterly incest. Yeah. Okay, and before we go any further with this, what the hell is the thing with incest? Do people writing slash drawing this stuff, do they have siblings or are they only children? And if so, why? What are you doing? What's actually the appeal? I just don't get it. And like I said, this isn't some niche backyard bullshit. This is highly popular stuff. Remember how Jelsa was big? Had like 800 fix or something like that. This has like 2,000. 2,000 more fix on archive. It has more fix than Anna and Kristoff, you know, the canon and non-problematic pairing. Ugh, oh, the incest vibes, why, why? Did Game of Thrones do this? Or has this sick fascination been building slowly in the background for years and years, slowly corrupting more and more minds? Like, what the actual hell? Smut and weird shit. And worst of all, from what I perused, which I'll admit was not much because, you know, no thank you. A lot of these stories try to justify themselves. They try to be all like, oh no, 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 but they aren't sisters in my story, so it's all good. And it's like, well, what? What, you just enjoy their dynamic, but also want to conveniently forget that their whole dynamic stems from the one crucial fact that they are indeed sisters? Like, what the actual hell is this shit? No. No, stop it. Stop it. Get some help. Thankfully, the fan art for this ship seems to be quite difficult to find. Well, I mean, you could just outright search for porn, but with the ships from last time, it was literally right there on the front page. Front page of Google Images. And, um, yeah, actually afterwards I went back and I, I did a different search, and, you know, it turns out I was just searching the wrong term. Frozen Cest does the trick. And once again, why? But yeah, unfortunately, this is actually the most wholesome of our ships today. <laughs> There's some fucking degenerates out there, I'm telling you what, my god. I hate to pull the it's for kids card about Disney, because, you know, I like Disney, and I'm an adult. But come on, why are you corrupting Disney into something like this? What are you doing? Why? Like I said, though, we must continue on, because there's even more degenerate incest ships in the Disney fandom that we must uncover today. And I mean, they've really blown up in the last 10 years or so. And like I said, I do have a suspicion that the 2010s really popularized incest with Game of Thrones. You know, Jonsa, very popular ship, cousins that were raised as siblings. Spoiler alert, by the way. And also, Jonaris, aunt and nephew, but you know, an aunt and nephew who had never met, and they were the same age, so, you know. Uh, uh. But whilst it's very easy to blame Game of Thrones for all the world's ills, when it comes to fandoms, when in doubt, you blame Supernatural. After all, apparently, 
Supernatural is indeed the franchise that spawned the ever-disgusting Omegaverse genre. Ugh. And what do you know? The two brother characters have 30,000 incestuous fix to peruse on the archive at your leisure. So yeah, incest, it's gotten really popular. DISGUSTING! But at least what we've seen so far is all with consenting adult characters. Not so much with some of the other shit that spawned in the Disney fandom in the last decade or so. Because now, we go to one of the franchises that I probably care least about from the 2010s. That's Big Hero 6. You know, nothing against it, but it never gripped me. Like, I liked it well enough when I saw it, and I haven't watched it since. And so I figured when I first took a look around that I was going to be dealing with, you know, sex doll Baymax sort of situations. But whilst that sadly does actually exist, it really does pale in comparison to the pairing of Hero, you know, the young teenage character who repurposes Baymax into a battle bot, and Tadashi, his older brother, who dies towards the beginning of the film in classic Disney fashion to spur on the development of our main hero. And yes, Tadashi's an adult, at least 18, as he is in college, and he's likely actually a bit older than that, as he seems to be quite well known and respected. And Hero, I'm pretty sure, you know, he's just a kid. Let me check. And yep, he's 14, and you can really tell. Like, this does not look like an adult. It does not look like an older teenager. It looks like a child. And yet there are over 600 entries on Archive. Hamid Assessed has a lot of artwork. A lot of artwork. Sick, sick, sickos. And th you know, this is just child porn. It's actually child porn. You can say, oh, but they're just animated characters. They're not real. Don't care, mate. It's child porn. Look at yourself in the mirror and say this, for shame. What are you? An idiot sandwich. But of course it hides behind the masquerade of soft, sweet boys finding love with each other, orphans. Uh, ugh, makes me cringe to even speak those words if I'm being honest with you, it's just nasty stuff. Excuse me, I have to go and vomit. And it once again just makes you wonder, where does this stem from? Like, I get, you know, some shows might have made it popular, but how does this get into your brain? Surely there's a less problematic ship from this fandom that people could have honed in on. But they don't. And it's cringe. Way to ruin a sweet brotherly bond, internet. I mean, holy shit. The dude is one of Hero's major guardians and pretty much his father figure. Why would you do this? Why distort this? Mm. But hey, you know, at least those two, they're largely in the past, right? Maybe this type of thing has been left behind by the 2010s, right? Wrong. Encanto. Encanto bringing the incest shipping. Woo, I'm talking Bruno and I'm talking Mirabelle. <sighs> and I believe Mirabelle is also a minor in this film. Yes, indeed, she is 15 and Bruno is 40 plus. So, our first degree of gross is the absurdly large age gap. That is uncomfortable. That is bad. And then chuck that in with the fact that one of the characters is a minor. So isn't that just lovely? Oh, and what do you know? He's her uncle too, so there's incest. Incest, incest, just like the rest. <sighs> and it's not like this is some niche shit either. There's over 600 fix as well. 600! And enough art to make you genuinely sad. For shame. And it's even worse, because it misses the fucking point of the movie. Bruno is thought to be the creepy weirdo by his family. That's the point. But he instead proves that he was the wholesome hero all along because he sacrificed his happiness to ensure his niece wouldn't be ostracized by his prophecy. But yes, yes of course, let's turn him into the creepy drunk uncle at the party stereotype. Yuck, yuck, yuck. And really, it just seems to be a running theme in this video. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Disney shippers, stop it. Get some help. And I really don't want to keep thinking about this, so I think I'm going to end the video here. And I'll just remind you that these have been my opinions, my frankly right opinions. And I don't really want to hear yours unless you agree with me. I know that sounds kind of arrogant, but come on. So of course, I'm curious for your thoughts. So make sure to like, comment and subscribe and let me know.